Jihad roughly translates to struggle, and like any word, we must determine its meaning by its usage, which varies in Islamic texts. There are many times jihad is mentioned in the Quran and other Islamic traditions. Let's look at a couple of those. Ahmed ibn Hanbal, in his Hadith collection, records a narration where a man asks Muhammad what the best jihad is. Muhammad replied, a word of truth in front of a tyrannical ruler. Moral on this in video 3 of this series. In Surah An-Nisa'i 95, not equal are those of the believers who sit at home except for those who are disabled, and those who strive hard, there's the word jihad, strive hard, and fight in the cause of Allah with their wealth and with their lives. Reliance of the Traveler. Jihad means to war against non-Muslims. Section 09.0. It is the lesser jihad. The greater jihad is spiritual warfare against oneself. More on this as well in video 3 of this series. In Sahih al-Bakari, volume 4, a man asks Muhammad, instruct me as to such a deed as equals jihad and reward. Muhammad replied, I do not find such a deed. The context in which jihad is mentioned here becomes clear. Later on, when the man mentions a Muslim fighter going for battle. Sahih al-Bukhari 2787, Muhammad guarantees that a mujahid, that is one who engages in fighting, will enter paradise if he is killed. For some more modern opinions, Professor Ahmed Hassan states, In its wider sense, the term jihad comprehends all sorts of effort made sincerely in the path of Allah to spread religion. In the Islamic context, it stands for fighting against the infidels to promote the cause of Islam. While the word does have multiple meanings, the overwhelming use in Islamic texts refers to holy war. Over 150 ayat in the Quran reference jihad, the context of the vast majority of them refer to battle and fighting in the cause of Allah. Hadith collections like Sahih al-Bakari, Sahih Muslim, Sunan Abu Dawood, have books devoted to jihad called Kitab al-Jihad. These books are quite violent. There is much talk of blood being spilled, martyrs, and the promise of paradise for the same or reward taken from the spoils of war if the soldiers survived. The context in which Muhammad and his companions understood jihad the vast majority of the time is quite clear, and due to overwhelming use in the context of fighting against unbelievers in the Quran and Hadith, jihad has maintained a nearly univocal primary definition of holy war among Islamic scholars. As Dr. Muhammad Khan says, al-jihad in Allah's calls with full force of numbers and weaponry is given the utmost importance in Islam, and is one of the pillars on which it stands. By jihad, Islam is established.